well, I always talk about uh, my problem with my business. <laughs> and I again will talk about my business because uh, this is, uh, it's not going anywhere. And uh, I'm really tired. Of my business not going anywhere. And I don't know what else I can do to have a breakthrough. Okay. So, is all you're doing is your business right now? I'm a mortgage agent. Okay. So, hmm, let's look at that. What, what does it feel like when you go to work each day? I'm sorry? What does it feel like when you work each day? Um, I like uh, doing this stuff. I like taking applications, interacting with people, looking at the numbers. When I work on someone's deal, I forget about the time and uh, if I'm not tired. I feel, I feel awesome. Okay. But unfortunately, what happens is that deals, these deals, they don't close. They fall apart, and um, and this is year year after year. And I don't know how to turn things around. Okay. So when you do close a deal, how does that feel? Oh, it is awesome. It is awesome. It is great. And what would happen if you closed a deal every day? It would be even better. Probably I could uh, I could leave my part time job and do this full time. Okay. Right. So it's interesting that you went into resistance there, closing a deal every day. So how hard is it to close a deal? Probably this hard. Probably what? Probably this hard. It's hard. Yeah. I okay. Okay, so when you're in the belief that closing a deal is hard, it's it's always going to start. It's always going to show up there, and it's going to be hard to close the deals. Um, and I know that's what you're seeing, but you have to remember that yeah. your belief is comes first, and reality comes second. Right. So you're seeing well, the results of your belief in your reality. Yeah, the thing is that people come to me talk with me, I work with them, and at one point, they go somewhere else. Okay. Or they change their mind. Or at one point, they're not interested. Okay. So, uh, after putting the effort, after working, mm -hmm. I live with nothing. Okay. So, why why do you think they would go with someone else? Um, why do you think that they will go? Yeah. Probably somebody will offer them better rates. Probably. Okay. So this is Oof. These are just the stories that are coming up in your life that people you you work with someone and someone will offer a better rate. But when people connect with you, they'll want they'll want to do that deal right then. So, are you willing to destroy the belief that other people will always offer better deals than you do? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Are 
Are you willing to step out of the story that closing deals is hard? Yes. Ooh, okay, that well, one's not moving. See, because this is the thing. If you have the belief that closing deals is hard, you're going to minimize the amount of deals you can close because each time you close one, it's hard. And multiple deals means more hard, harder, harder, harder. Right. So when you can look at it in a different way and say, okay, it's, it's going to take some action, but it's not going to be hard. It's just going to be me having this relationship with clients and, and sometimes they're going to close and sometimes they're not, but it's not actually going to be hard. Then it's just you having a bunch of relationships with a bunch of people. Right. So are you willing to destroy the belief that closing the deals is hard? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Is there security in your job? In my regular job? In a, no. In the board control. No. Okay. No. Is there a security in your part-time job? No. There's no security in the part-time job either? No. Okay. I don't feel secure. You don't feel secure at all? Okay. So I here's the... feel as though it is my every day, it's my last day. Okay. Over there. So this is, this is another uh, thing that comes from inside. Security is an internal thing. So when you, and this, this could be hard given where you are, I've been, I've been where you are where the money's just not coming and you don't know when it's going to come. But when you can get to a place that it's going to work out, you have no idea how it's going to work out, but you just know it's going to work out, then the, the, that'll start the flow of things in your life again. All right? I was in a position where I was $100,000 in debt and I didn't know how I was going to get out of it and I didn't have a job at all. And I, I realized, okay, I'm just done. And because I got to that point where I'm just done, I said, you know what? I'm going to stop worrying. I'm going to stop panicking. And I'm just, you know, at this point, it doesn't matter. So universe, just let whatever happens happen. I am surrendering now. And I, did, I didn't, like, just sort of curl up in a ball and do nothing. I, I still took action. But I went from a place of worry and frustration and lack and panic to, okay, let's just see what happens. Because... The worry and frustration wasn't working for me. I wasn't getting any results when I was there. So I said, let's just try it and be in flow. Even though it looks like it's, we're done, even though it looks like everything is awful, it's the end of the world, let's just surrender and, and be in this place like, look, you know, I'm in your hands, universe, and I'm willing to, to accept whatever you're going to throw at me. And within right. two days, I got a job that was like $90,000 a year. Wow. Yeah. It just, it just appeared. But I, I look back now and I realize it's when I went to that place of surrender, when I went to the place like universe, and I, I know you got my back, so let's just do this. That's when things change. But if you keep looking at the reality for what it is, which is basically the past beliefs that have manifested. So reality is never present. It's always the manifestation of past beliefs. Right. So when you learn to ignore it and just sort of say, okay, so that's what I created based on my beliefs. Now let's shift. Let's create something else. We're going to shift the beliefs. We're going to shift the energy. Let's see what shows up now. And if that's not great, then you say, okay, so I feel need to do a little more shifting. I need to get into a higher, lighter spot. Let me try that and then see what shows up. You're going to start to see changes going on. But right okay. now you've been trapped in this, where is it? Why is it working? It's, you know, yeah. You know, and there's been all this panic, and I know, I, I believe me, because I was in it for, for such a long time, it took me a while to get out of it, but I'm trying to get you out of it before it gets to be like it was for me. Get into surrender and trust the universe is going to provide. And you still go out, you do your deals, but do your deals from that place of surrender. Do that play, Do your deals and, and talk to people from a place that I'm here to just have a relationship with you and enjoy my time with you whether you're not you close the sale, it's going to change how people interact with you. Okay. 
Okay. I will try. Okay. How you feeling? A little bit better. Okay. You can, uh, okay, you can call the radio show if you want to keep working on that, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.